Welcome back to the second episode of Sons of Carthage with me, Hydronum. Today we're going to continue on with uh, where we left off. We're going to continue the war here, finish it off, vassalize these guys. Hopefully we'll pick up some of these guys here as vassals. Shouldn't take too long. Some of them have already got some really high opinion of me, so this is good. Alright, let's go. We've got our trade ships protecting trade. Should be bringing in a little bit more money. We're collecting in both here and here, and technically also our home node. So we've got the Genoa node, we've got the, uh, the, ah, oh, I forgot what it's called. The Sevelia node, that's the one, as well as the Tunis node. Uh, hopefully at some point we can control Africa here and draw a lot of the trade power from Africa, uh, from out here. Because it gets pushed down here, and I believe it can get pushed south. So you'll have it pulled down and around. And if it goes around, that means it can come back. I don't believe that there is an end node down here in South Africa. Alright. For those who weren't here in the previous episode, you may notice that my military maintenance is low. That's because the enemy's army has already been completely defeated and we're just sieging down locations. We've... Now, uh, we've got enough people there that uh, we can take a bit of attrition. Alright, that's the first point false. We can take some attrition, and that's fine. We've got an extra thousand men there. We'll just slowly tick down in men. And we're not wasting excess amounts of money keeping them up to date and healthy. Saves a bit of money anywhere that's possible. Very important in this early game. Alright, that's that siege done as well. Alright, we have no available blokes. Only improved by 10 so far. Yep, fair enough. We'll pull him back. Don't take too long. 3, 2, 1. Alright, let's have a look. It should be quite easy for me to turn around and go 4%. Is that all it costs? Well, I don't need it. So, since uh, my mission was... It was to protect them, wasn't it? Rewards was prestige. So, I guess we will take it and we'll sell it back to them. Take that, get a bit of gross expansion, and we will puppet them. Gross expansion of 2.9. Pretty much most of the... Uh, yeah, most of the people that care are right next to it. Most of the world doesn't give a shit about this small little uh, tribal nation. Alright, so they uh, will be our vassal. Let's see, how much money do they have? 57. We'll leave them with enough to help, uh, help themselves and we'll change them to our religion. Alright, that should be a good bit of prestige. Yep, plus 6 prestige. Cost me 50 diplo points for the vassalization. Which is fine, and done. We'll now be over our diplomatic power limit, but that's okay, honestly. Alright, cool. That's first war done. It won't be too long until uh, they want back. 35 admin power, no, not worth it. Diplo power is more common for us at the moment. Castilla, where is that? Ah, you want me to conquer them already. Well, they've got six. Do they have an alliance? Just with Toga. Huh. Well, fought to the end. Same religion. I only need to get you to 190, don't I? I'm sorry if you hear clicking, crunching. This is uh, the chair I sit on. It's rather old at the moment. Um, they'll take an offer of military access, so that'll improve relations a bit. Economic, uh, we can get them to transfer trade power, which is good. We'll do that now anyway. 42%, that'll improve relations between us, because we cannot trans, uh, we cannot declare war on them, so that makes them feel more secure. Um... I could sell them land, but that'll make them less likely to uh, accept vassalization. As you can see, they would, as they are now. But at the moment, 
we just need to make them like us. Am I... Yep, improving relations here, slowly but surely. Uh, Morocco, Don Mason, yep, and Aragon. We've got our diplomat waiting. I want to sell this back because I honestly don't need it. At the moment, it's just a waste of my time. Sell province. Alright, yep. That's good. We've got the uh, extra money. We'll grab ourselves a couple more ships. Excellent. That takes us to the force limit for light ships. Grab you. Squish it together. Drop you over at Tunis, and we'll just relax. Vizan, you should also transfer me trade power. It's good, it, it, you'll like it, I swear. The ability for me not to war deck you will make you feel more comfortable, and I'll like you more. What's, what's not to enjoy? Mazab, I will, no I don't need to send you a gift, I will sell you a province. I'll sell you that one for nothing. There you go. You no longer have a claim on me, so uh, you will not uh, you will not have a small penalty for having a cause for war. Well, you do have the independence one, but you can't use it until you've got some uh, people to back you up. And you're currently a nice loyal vassal, which is great. Tugget, ticking up. Did shit. I think you should transfer me trade power as well. That's strange. Hmm, negative 11, but they'd still do it. Why? That that seems odd. Um, do we have... Yes, we've got that. Improve relations. Influence actions. Yes, improve relations. Thank you. We have no missions. Protect against Morocco. 13, that will take me above my force limits, I believe. No, no, it won't. Might be a good one, actually. Might take that. Improve relations with Nasib. Conquer Tara. There, coastal one. That's not a bad idea. Do you have allies? Yes, just Togit. Again. Okay. Tunis and Thalmesin. You'll probably feel quite good with two powerful allies. Don't go war decking anyone else. Ah, uh, Tunis, yep. Fazan, yep. It's just going to be a matter of slowly letting it tick up. Slowly ticking up. Ah, we'll improve relations with Zib. I don't know where they are though. Oh, right, yeah, my vassal. Fine, sure. No problem. At some point, that'll tick up anyway. Declared war, was at war. So we should be getting 2.2 .2 back per year, that's fine. Alright, the encoding is going nicely for the first episode, so you'll be getting that one soon. Well, you'll have already gotten that one by the time this one comes out, so that doesn't matter. The extra trade power is great. Yeah, power in the Tunis node. Ah, oh, come on. Hmm... Well, my army maintenance can do with going down anyway. Inflation's okay. Tax base is reasonably high, which is good. Uh, that's probably why you're complaining. Mm, we'll drop the stability. It's fine. We can deal with it for now. Negative stability isn't really making much upset, except for Suara. Missionary is still slowly ticking along, but they're not making any, uh, spoke too soon. They decided to, uh, make a bit of progress towards rebelling, but that's all right. They're at 5%. I believe I will, yep, lose admin power here. Gaining the piety for the faster missionary is, honestly, at this point, worth it. Very much worth it. Though, that stability hits lowering my rate. Alright, there we go. Much better, 1.6.
ships are ready. Three long-time rivals. Aragon, which will have power in the Genoa node. Morocco, which will have power in the Sevelia node, as will uh, Thalmesin. So, throwing pirates towards the uh, Sevelia node will give me some power projection. Let's get that power projection going. It's strange to see how much uh, power projection relies on having a naval power. If you don't have navies, it's very hard to get your power projection up at all. Should be getting sending privateers against uh, rivals, unless... No, they don't have enough in either of those nodes, do they? Yeah, you need to be going again. Oh, there we go. No, no, just long-time rivals. Where's the two set? No need for you to go so fast. You're the wrong two set. Are you? Oh no, I just... Oops. Yep. Uh, pirate in the Sevelia trade node, please. There we go. Privateers against Morocco. Eat it. Alright, let's have a look at the trade. Yep, as you can see, most of it is here in the Severe Safi trade node. That's where I should be hitting. Because these two have a lot of power in that node. Uh, let's squish you together. Safi trade node. That's where you get the power projection. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Got the armies just relaxing in the capital. We've got our uh, puppet doing its puppetry thing. You got a bit of unrest. I hope that's because you're trying to convert them. No, you're not. Damn, sucks to be you. Um, uh, yeah. Legitimacy, tolerance, cool. Oh, come on, I just sent you out against them. National trade income modifier, you bastard. Let's see, 137, we've already got a royal marriage, they already transfer us trade power, giving them a gift will give me 12, 25, that'll take me up to the 60s. I need to get it up to, I think it's 65 before I can do that. And then I can send a gift and then make them my friend. Yes. Alright, a bit faster. There's no rush for this beginning section. I just need to get these guys as my vessels. Preferably without declaring war on them. Togut's ticking up nicely. Yep, 65 will be the point of no return. Well, of plenty of returns. It'll make me a lot of money having you as a vassal. You trust me as well, which is interesting. Alright. <sighs> Missionary is still plodding along, being pious gives me a good bonus. Oh, it's been four years and you haven't taken Albania yet. That's strange. Ottomans, are you even trying? Are you okay? Yeah, you're just at war with them, and you have the... City of World's Desire, Greek Orthodox, base tax of 9. Alright, tick, 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 66, yep. Power projection, still got the privateers bonus, ah, Granada's gonna fall soon. The fall of Granada is both, it is a boon for the uh, Islamic world, surprisingly. When Granada falls, you are able to, you get a discount on tech, just like when uh, Constantinople falls, the West gets a discount on tech, 10% check, a 10% on tech, as well as some prestige. That is, if you decide to accept the uh, comings of the people. Algiers. You'll never lose that, huh? You'll always have that. Um, 
Yeah, Algiers is the prime nation of Algerian and will never lose that. So, in order to get rid of the Algiers core, I need to change this stuff. Oh, manpower bonus. Yes, that doesn't do anything for me. It puts me above my max, though. Just ten more, and then I'll send you a gift, and then annex you. You'll be a good little puppet person thing. Slowly, slowly creeping up. Royal marriage from the Ottomans, that is not a problem. You being my ace in the hole, definitely want to keep you close. You'll basic that uh, you will not basically you will be a deterrent for other people to war deck me because they're unhappy with the way I've treated everyone else. Support rebels, fabricate claim, no no economy actions. Send a gift. Plus twenty five for twenty five. Not a problem. Need plus two from the next tick and you will become my vassal. Which will mean that uh, Thelmesen will have no. Ah, come on. Didn't even tick up this month. Minus one yearly. Ah, that's why. I lost two yearly. Border friction sucks. There we go. Off of vassalization. Welcome to the fold. I no longer get their trade power, but that's fine. I no longer need you doing that. Improve the relations there. And improve relations here. You've got no allies, so I can declare war on you with a uh, reckless abandon. Probably shouldn't have taken that one. Ah, oh, I can do it quickly. Improve relations, come on. Four, three, two, one, zero. There we go. Done. Was at war, declared war, vassal, same religion, all that jazz. Three prestige. Yeah, it's probably not worth it. It'll take a, an entire year to tick by. But that's actually completely fine. It'll take me less than a year to improve, uh, more than a year to improve relations. You've got a two star general already, huh? Alright, looks like Portugal is unable to fight against these guys, though. Yep, you're at war with Portugal, Pas uh, Castile, and Navarra. Pretender rebels. Okay. The iron, it looks like it's going to be quite hot to strike soon. I'll move you over there. I'll also start paying my troops a little bit. Just so that they're at full power. You're almost... Yep, you're actually ready to be invited to join the fold. Economy actions, send gift. Plus 25, done. Don't need you sitting there. Improve relations there. Get you up high enough. Good, good, good. Influence actions offer vassalization. You should accept. It's a great deal for you. The Zan no longer transfers me pay trade power. Why not? Something's happened. 17th of August. Great. Vassal, vassal, vassal. You'll soon be a vassal. Oh. Crap. That would be why. Yes, yes, they did. Of course they did. Um, so yeah, you're a vassal of the Mamluks. Shit. Well... Looks like I'll be pushing for war with Thelmesen, bringing them in underneath me quickly. How long until 
my leader dies. A long time, actually. So it'll be a while until Fazan's royal marriage with me ends and I can use that extra slot somewhere else. Look, I need the admin power currently. 25 years, but that's fine. I now have enough to take out you easily. Yep, don't need you doing that, so I will covertly fabricate a claim. Dara is a great place to do it. I will improve the Ottomans' relations of me. Done and done. Now sit back and I relax while we slowly, slowly tick by. Not getting much power projection because I don't have, I do not have much in the way of ships. Yet. Fighting into mountains. Genius move. Let's build up our army while we wait. We've got two sets of cavalry, so we'll just grab five infantry. Build you up. Tick, 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 tick. Missionary is almost completed. What well, missionary has almost completed their job? And there we go. We can get a mission now. 21. Wow, Morocco got big. Mazib Konkadara. You know what? Sure. That's fine by me. More, more, more. Let's go, guys. Squeeze you together. One, 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 one. So you're not bad. You're not great. Two, one, one. And your desert mountains. What's the weight? Nine, eleven. Are you coastal mountains? No. Of course not. If I can hit Thelmesin, though. I'll be fine. Alright. How much do you cost to vassalize? 91%. Easy. I can do that. I will take you as my vassal. Okay. Are we ready? We ready? We ready. Declare war. Ottomans are not interested. It's fine by me. We're at war. Missionary still making progress, which is good. I will go and sit in Dara. That was my goal, I will take it. My vassals will hopefully do the right thing. It's their obligation. And I'm pretty sure that I've just rambled on for far longer than I was meant to. Alright, that's the end of this episode. I thank you for joining me for playing Europe Universalis 4, Art of War Expansion, attempting to get the Sons of Carthage achievement.